there are still about six months until colleges start accepting those early applications. Now, not every kid wants to go to college and that's okay, but for students that do, it's important to start the process early. Chrislyn Shelton is committed and ready to go to college. I did choose Purdue Fort Wayne. I took a visit. It was a great size because it is a little bit of a bigger school like Big Purdue. Oh, yes. The Mishawaka senior is going to her first choice school. She says it's because she knew what college she wanted to go to, what she needed to apply, and how to set herself apart. I would definitely say get started early and get involved too. The experts agree. Here are the top five things they say you should know before you or your child sends out a college application. Number one, the college application process has changed. This means students should and can start early in that process of planning where they want to go to college. And there's an app for that. So a big part about what I do is assist students with building their Common App. Common App is recommended by Mishawaka's Beyond the Cave director. Common App allows students to apply for hundreds of colleges. It can help you keep track of deadlines and submission status. This definitely allows them to have option. There are other website and programs out there. School counselors at your child's school can help you find the ones they recommend. Number two, grades matter, but so does everything else. Highly selective schools want good grades, but all schools want a well-rounded student. Take a look at this. This is the common data set for IU Bloomington. Most schools make this type of data available. It basically tells you who the school is admitting and gives you an idea of what they're looking for. At IU, you can see class rank, GPA, test scores, and rigor of classes are ranked as very important. All of these other non-academic factors are considered. Consider the University of Notre Dame. Only 15% of applicants are accepted, and their average GPA of students is 4.06. So every school is going to be a little bit different, but I would say on some level there is a holistic approach at most colleges and universities. Um, and pretty much at all places, the primary factors, the factors that will be weighed most heavily in the decision will be the GPA, will be the rigor of the coursework the student took, how much did they challenge themselves, test scores if we have them, and then also the sort of trend, like the grade trend. But it's important to remember there are schools out there that are less competitive, and schools want a well-rounded student, so that volunteer work, that job, and those extracurriculars definitely matter. Number three, your college essay matters. Not every school requires a college essay, but the experts we spoke to said you should still send it. You can personalize it. That will help you stand out. And if there's a red flag in your application, you can address it in your college essay. It gives the college you know, admission committees the ability to get a sense of who that individual is. And what value are you going to add after you get the degree from the school? You uh, want to use topics that will help you stand out from other applicants. Uh, for example, like what hardships have you overcome? Do you have a significant role you play in your family? Uh, those types of things can help as well. Number four, you should apply early. Our application goes live on August 1st every year, and um, we begin we begin getting applications literally that day. The St. Mary's College Director of Admission says the school has a high acceptance rate. Still, she recommends. What I would generally say is the earlier the better. She also says it depends on the student and the school that student wants to go to. Where maybe they struggled a little bit, particularly in their junior year, but that that student might be in a situation where it might benefit them to take the first semester of their senior year, get those grades back up, and then apply. And number five, you are not alone in this journey. High schools have counselors that specialize in helping students plan and apply to college. They can also help students get financial aid and scholarships. And we come up with a plan to prepare our students for life after high school, whether they're going to college, military, or trade school. We really encourage the kids to figure out what they're interested in so we can help them. Hey, if, you, if this is what you want to do after high school, we're going to get you there. And colleges themselves have teams of admission officials who are there to help. Never hesitate to reach out to admission offices. We are, that's what we're here for.